Dear students, today we will start inserting tables in our uh, web document, web page using Adobe Dreamweaver. And uh, we will try to also understand the code uh, that how that table can be generated and added in the HTML page. So let's start the practical. So this is the same uh, document uh, as we had on which we were working. And let's try to remove all things between body. So I have selected and deleted. So this is a neat and clean document. So now if I want to add a table, I will go into the insert. And here you can see there, there are number of options available. So we cannot cover all of these things in this uh, introductory course. So we will be covering some of these things. For example, we will be adding images and we will be adding tables. So if you click on table, so it asks us that how many rows you need and how many columns you need. So for example, I say three, three. So maybe I can say I need four rows and three columns to just make a distinction. And uh, I can also select number of properties over here, which I I'm not going to select, I'm just going with plain. And I'm just clicking OK. So you can see that actually there has been a table having four rows and three columns. So this table kind of control is very uh, necessary in uh, web development because you make such tables at many places, uh, even to make the uh, grid uh, layout of your web page that how your content should be shown so that's why you should try to understand uh, the code as well that what's uh, happening over here so here you can see that in the code it is written table and width and then border right so border is one which means that this is of one thickness and then 200 width means that it is comprising of 200 uh, uh, width as wide and then it has rows and columns. So, uh, for example, this first row has been created using TR start and TR end. And this TD means column. So this is first column, second column and third column. So let's put something over here. So for example, I say first or like this first row first column so it has been written over here right uh, you can make it a little bit larger so that you are not confused and you can see that this is first row first column then whatever you add over here that would be your same first row but second column so it has been added over here you can see maybe we can reduce the size a little bit to make it cover the same so here now it is visible so this means that this TR, first TR means first row, second TR means second row, third TR means third row, and fourth TR means fourth row. And within each row, there are three columns, right? So if you want to generate another column uh, within a row, so you can just select it. Uh, first, just try to remove these things so that it comes to its original shape. Right, and if you are interested to add another column over here, so you can just see that there is another column in the row one. And if you want to add similar column uh, for all of the rows, you can just select it and add it. And you can see that this has been generated and before the table or after the table you can write anything um, in between the body 
So for example, if here you are interested to write anything like ITC and that ITC need to be heading one. So it should display like this. And if we go into the live, so lively it will be like this and in design view it's like this and live it would be like this when it will be rendered by some web browser so we have already learned that how to save and how to view such a table so this is very simple to add a table using dreamweaver in html however if you are going to write all of this code by your own self then it is of course very difficult uh, to write such code in notepad so let's conclude uh, today's module we have learned that how we can add tables in the html code using uh, adobe dreamweaver cs6 and in the next module we will be coming back to you with some other exciting features in dreamweaver